Welcome to the Ambient Tutorials. In this video, we'll show you how to use a master locket to remotely control a Sound Devices 6 Series or 788T recorder. Before we get started, let's take a brief look at the required gear. You'll need a Sound Devices 788T or 633, 664, or 688 recorder with firmware 3.1 or higher, a master locket ACN ML with firmware 4.10 or higher. You'll need the MLC HID cable if connecting with 6 series recorders, along with a USB Type B adapter for direct 6 series connection. You'll need the MLC CL cable if connecting with the 788T recorder, a TCIO cable, and a Wi Fi capable device such as a smartphone, tablet, or computer. As you get started, connect the master locket with your power source. Connect the red limo to the TC socket and the blue limo to the ACN socket. You can use the second Hiroshi connector to loop the power through to your recorder to reduce power sources. Now power up the master locket by pressing the wheel for a couple seconds and wait until the unit is completely booted, which is indicated by the filled square symbol. When cabling the 6 series, connect the power, the green limo to the timecode I.O. socket, and the USB to the side of the recorder using the Type-B adapter. You can also connect to the keyboard USB port on the CL12 controller. When connecting a 788T, connect the power and time code on the side and the RJ11 with the C-Link in, located on the back of the recorder. When you finish connecting the cables, power up the recorder. Go to the time code menu and set the unit to external TC mode. Then change the frame rate to the project time base, in our case, 25 frames per second. Now your recorder is ready and talking to the master locket, so let's move on to the Wi-Fi capable device. Start by going to the Wi-Fi settings and log into the Wi-Fi of the master locket. Then open your browser and go to masterlocket.local or 10.0.0.1. Within the master locket web interface, go to the connected devices tab. The first time you visit, you'll need to click on the plus button and choose your recorder. Then select remote control. The sound mixer's control surface will open, giving you full control over timecode, ACN devices, and of course remote control of your recorder. So let's take a closer look by following the typical start of day workflow. The timecode tab lets you set the timecode to any frame rate and remotely jam the master locket to any value, including time of day. You can also set the user bits to the current date of the accessing device along with the desired format. When your timecode setup is complete, initialize the CJAM broadcast to continuously jam all receiving ACN units for zero drift timecode synchronization. The ACN radar now gives you full control and monitoring of all ACN devices in your setup, including battery status, frame rate, range, and slate clap times. Now we'll take a closer look at the Recorder Remote Control tab. Record Start and Stop functions can be controlled with large, easy to access buttons. With the 788T, a meter section can be expanded below. Expand the Tracks section to record, enable, and disable tracks as well as rename them. Metadata entry for current and upcoming clips include Scene, Take Note, Circle, and False Take, and expand the History section for access to previous clips. At the end of the shooting day, click on the Export Sound Report button. 
Choose the recorder and define the report parameters by shooting day or timecode range if required. Edit the sound report front sheet and finish by clicking Export. The Excel report is then downloaded directly to the accessing device, ready for editing and forwarding by email. Thanks for watching. Visit ambient.de where you can find more information about ambient lockets and a series of timecode, sync, and camera interconnection tutorials.